ceiling fans. You turn them on low, and they don't make a difference. Then you try medium, and they don't do much better. But on high, they go so fast, you think they're gonna fly off the ceiling, and end your life right then and there. So you keep it on medium. Well, last night, I was lying there, ceiling fan on high. And the truth is, I didn't care if the fan were to detach and impale me. I was ready to go. Clarence, attempting to avoid the awkwardness, gulped as he pondered how to reply. Tell me something I don't know about you. I hate plastic cups. <laughs> what? You sweat. I mean, you set it on the table, it leaves a ring, it makes your hand super hot or super cold depending on what the drink is. Not to mention the whole debate regarding the toxicity of plastic. I mean, the fact of the matter is, I hate plastic cups. Wow. Wow what? That was just enthralling. <sighs> All I'm saying is that I prefer styrofoam when it comes to soft drinks. Isn't styrofoam, like, super bad for the environment? Is it? I think so. It's not like I'm consuming such an excessive amount of styrofoam that it's doing anything really detrimental to the environment. Oh, break it. Hey, Stuart. Hey, Alexis. Here you go, buddy. Thanks. Uh, teacher's not still weirded out by it, is she? She keeps trying to give me her weekly spiel, but... See you, Gare. See you, man. I hate that guy. But, yeah, I just decided to ramble on about my dyslexic grandmother instead. Which grandmother? Does it matter? It's the dead one. They're both the dead one. Which one had dyslexia? One on my mom's side. Oh. So, have you thought about joining? Your grandmother? My grit. No. The Young Authors Club. Oh, um, well, I haven't really gotten around to it yet. You do consider yourself a young author, yes? Yeah. Then, at the very least, it might help you get your mind off of her. Thanks for the tape, Garrett. I think I should go digital. I'm out of tapes. <laughs> or you could just join the club. That is something for consideration. I mean, you already do all the assignments. You might as well get credit for them. Plus, colleges like extracurriculars. They're just so uneconomically feasible. I know, but there are benefits, and I think you'd be happy to go. Containing storage on a computer, not to mention I wouldn't have to invest in a new camera. A camera for what? One that takes cards. As opposed to. As opposed to tapes. Oh? You could at least pretend like you're listening to me. Oh, I thought you were the one not listening. Okay. 
How's this? <laughs> I was saying you should join the club. Or, at a bare minimum, let me read something you've written. I have to feed my fish. What are their names? I don't know. They're fish. Are you hungry? Not really. So, not even a single page. Look, nothing's good enough yet, Alexis. Well, I know I love it, whatever it is. No, I don't even like it. I'm the one who wrote it. Have you ever- What do you want on yours? On what? On your sandwich. Are you talking to yourself? What? No. You just asked yourself what you wanted on your sandwich. No, I said your sandwich as in your sandwich. Well, anyways, I said I'm not hungry. Also, I'm allergic to gluten. Okay. Have you ever heard the phrase, your own worst critic? No, how does it go? Forget it. No, look, I'm listening. Please just continue. <laughs> did, did you just pretend to snap my neck? Did I? Yeah, yeah, he did. Just playing around. Whatever. Well, it's more true than ever in your case. What is? The phrase. What phrase? You're your own worst critic. I mean, you're the only person who reads what you write. Yeah, that's for a reason. You do well in your school papers? No, I just don't do badly. Not bad is good. No, I, I mean, yeah, having something not be bad is a good thing, but just because something isn't bad doesn't make the thing itself good. Then what does? I don't know, okay?
Would it be a benefit to you if I were to offer you a ride in my chariot? Was she with the guy? <sighs> what do you mean, was she with the guy? Yeah, she was there and so was he. By with the guy, I don't mean vicinity. I mean, was it a relationship or was she just with some random guy? I've never seen him before. Okay, so he's random to you. Was he random to her? I don't know. It seemed like she knew him pretty well. That is a subpar situation. No, dude, it sucks. What I said. No, you said subpar. Exactly. Synonym. No, they're not. Subpar means bad. I just... I don't even like golf. Well, maybe if you tried it, you might like it. When did you become an advocate for golf? I'm not an advocate for golf. I'm just saying you never do anything. So if you tried something, you might like it. Like what? Like a social situation. I would not like social situations. Look, there's this Christmas party, and I think it might be fun if you win. No! All right, I'll just add it to the list. List? Glove box. Well, you're still a grudge holder. I'm not a grudge holder. You really holder. just write the list and throw my a completely face. different thing. Enlighten me. The antagonistic term that you chose to use is inherently flawed. On the contrary, my ability to retain detail in my recollections is considered a Why are virtue some of these in crossed off? Society. What? Why are some of these crossed off? When you do something nice for me, I cross off the corresponding offense. Majority of these uh, are crossed off. I haven't seen you in a while. Come on, just a. I don't know. A ton of video games. Video games. Remember, this is Make a Wish. Yeah. So. Don't you think you're not utilizing the power of this organization to the fullest? Well, I have cancer. I'm sorry. In the scenario, I have cancer. So what am I expected to do when I'm terminally ill? Disregard the cancer. That's not the point of the question. I think a less confusing phrase would be, what would you ask for if you could have anything in the world? No, because that entails a kid could ask for drugs, sex, or alcohol, and that's not really within Disney's jurisdiction. Jesus. Socialize. Alright, hey everybody, this is Stuart. Oh, hey, you're that guy that writes a two-seater everywhere, right? Colin, it's called a tangent bike. I think tangent is a mathematical term. Yeah, or you can go off on a tangent by straying from the main point of a conversation by trying to tell a joke or add an anecdote or something. But either way, you are very, very wrong. It's a tandem bike. And yes. So, do you like ride that by choice? I mean, yeah. So video games? They make sense, Shut up. dude. Uh, Stuart, right? It would have been really funny if you had done like the whole bike half full situation in response. In response to what? When Colin asked you if you rode it by choice. Sure, half of the seats are, are empty, but the front of the bike makes up more than 50% of its entirety, so your argument is flawed. It doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. Have you ever even seen a tandem bike? No, video games. They so do. Okay. Stuart, if you had to make a wish, what would you wish for? Do you like anything? Do you play any sports? I mean, if you think about it, isn't exercise just a more beneficial version of self-harm? No, I don't play any sports. Is it because your parents are rich? How do you... No, they're not rich. Really? Really. Sorry, I just figured it was your parents' bike. And, you know, rich people are always doing random recreational shit, like that indoor wall ball game with the tennis racket. So, I just figured your parents were into cycling at some point. Alexis! Hey! Hey. Hey, what's that game, like tennis, but indoor in rectangular rooms? Racquetball. That's it. <laughs> hey, Stuart.
run from your feet and into your sleep where no one can look in your mind carry the weight of all you left behind you're bringing us down to a dime but don't let it bring